Guys, I just uh, was in the middle of something and had a thought. And uh, first of all, I want to say, uh, G-Man, you're doing great. Thank you guys for listening to me. Uh, please contact G-Man in the comments below or go to his site, G-Man IV4, capital IV. Which one is that, G-Man? G-Man 4, G-Man IV? I think it's G-Man IV. Okay, anyway. And uh, talk to him. Believe me, he will uh, talk to you. If you don't know that you have something to say, he will help you find it. Because all of you, all of us, have something to say. We have a unique perspective that's part of the whole. And we want to know yours. We in the Naya Family Collective, we want to know you. We want to know your perspective. And uh, Dominique Scherter, I think it is. Way to go, I really appreciate your uh, your comments. You really make people think, make me think. And I got to thinking on one of those conversations. And uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. Now, most of you know the Law of Attraction stuff. Most of you know and you've heard and there's been a lot of successful people out there who say that if you want to have the new car, then they tell you to put a picture up on the vision board. They tell you to go drive the car, smell the car, see yourself driving in the car. You do that to the point that you already have the car. So by the time you get the car, it's really, it's, it's not even a big deal. It's not a surprise because you've gotten so good at seeing, knowing, believing that that car is already yours, that when you do get it, it's like, well, of course it's mine. Of course it's mine. And you've got, there's videos all over the place, videos, books, all over the place where people have successfully gotten the money they wanted, the house they wanted, the, the love of their life they wanted, the car, everything, right? So you guys accept that, right? Okay, what I'm saying whenever, and I throw out the serial killer and the child abuser at you because I want it to be extreme. I want it to be extreme. I want you to think in that extreme way. Well, I don't care about the car. I don't care about the money. don't care about the job. don't care about the love of my life. don't care. What I do care about is getting to a higher vibratory earth. And the same process works for that. So you can't pay any attention to the world around you, the politics, the pain, the suffering, the whatever. You cannot pay any attention to it. It is literally what happened yesterday. You're looking what you're going to, what timelines you're going to, what you're going to create, per se, tomorrow. So just like if you're looking for a new car, new house, new, new love, new job, new money, you can't pay any attention to the car you're driving, the house you're living in, the job you're going to, can you? Law of Attraction, seminars all over the place teach you that. All I'm telling you is, take it one more step. Think bigger. You're a god. You could do much more than a house and a car. Much more. Take yourself to 5D Earth, where everything is beautiful and pristine, where we all are connected, where telepathy is the norm, where we can become and remember the creator gods that we are, that we're introduced to other beings that we couldn't see before, that you're going to get introduced to aliens from all over the place on a higher vibration. I'm saying do that instead of visualize a car, a house, a job, money. And the way you do that is pay no attention to what's around you. What's around you is being created by creator gods who agreed on that circumstance. They wanted that circumstance. The faster that you pay no attention to what's around you, the faster you'll get to 5D. And the way that you ignore what's going around you is to turn around and say, they're creator gods, they know what they're doing. Now, certainly, I am not going to tell you that if you were sitting right next to a killer and you can stop the killer to, to, to not stop them. I'm saying that if you do this right, you'll never be around the killer. That's what I'm saying. That you know that they're out there. You know that the world has got them and you can sit and you can think about that. You can worry about all of that. You can't stop it yourself. You can't walk over there and do it in that way. But you can 
see yourself in a pristine 5D world just like you could see that car with Law of Attraction and you'll be there. Okay? So that's not that hard to figure out, is it? That's not that hard to find. All of you guys understand vision boards and law of attraction, and and you believe that that works, don't you? You may have a you may have struggle getting it done, but hey, I have too. So if I'm going to struggle, I'm going to go for the big payoff. I'm going to go mess around with cars and money. I'm going to go straight to the big payoff, and that's what I'm saying. That you could do that. Law of attraction. Don't pay any attention to what's around you. Visualize. 5D Earth. Make it whatever picture you want. Let's talk about it. You describe it. Describe it better. Describe it completely. What are we going to do together? What are you going to do? Moment to moment, day to day. Mine is in my head nonstop all the time, just like the person who manifests the car and the house and the love of their life. My mind is full of visualizing 5D Earth. For the same exact reason. The same thing applies. The same rules will take me there. Okay? Now I'm going to go to part two. And this was from, I think, Feel Flow Free. She wanted to know how I meditate. Because uh, basically I can, what I call meditate, and right now I can do it. I can do it while I'm walking and talking. And I kind of did a little short explanation. And I'm going to stick it at the end of this one too. Remember, and maybe you're still there, uh, if you've got it or if you've made it go away or even part of it, remember how the, those thoughts race through your head? Uh -huh. All those things you think about, what ifs and I need to do it, and, and uh, yada, yada, yada. And there's like a bunch of them going at any given time. And then you start to kind of center yourself and they slow down, but you've still got those thoughts running through your mind. Okay, I have no thoughts running in my mind. None. I completely cleared that out. No more of that hogwash running haphazardly through my head. No more. I don't do that. So in place of that, just like you could have those thoughts running through your mind, worry about things, see complete what you need to do, check off lists, and you'd still walk, talk, and go to work, Instead of doing that, I completely clear my head, and then whenever I want to reach out to the other side, I do that there instead of what you do and what I used to do with letting those thoughts run wild. That's how I do that. That's also how I go and read vibrations whenever I'm talking to you guys. That's how I do that. Okay? So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big believer in uh, shutting that brain off. Do whatever you have to do to shut that brain off. I would have to say one of the best things that happened to me was me getting that done. One of the biggest reliefs was when I got that done because I had so many thoughts running through my head at any given time. And it's much, much nicer now when I stopped that. Okay. All right, guys. And that's it. And I'm going to go ahead and upload this. And I love you all. Huge hugs. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.